Here it is guys, the new Casio watch that I just bought for a uh, March unboxing. It's just arrived literally like, about 30 minutes ago. I set up my camera, set up a lighting and such and start filming. I have really no idea how the watch looks like. I mean, I know what the watch is because I bought it online, but I haven't seen it in person just yet. So this is it. Uh, yeah, we have the watch in here. I'm, I'm sure that will be a manual book down here, right? Okay, that's how you, the Casio box usually goes. It operates on Castle 3484. This is a multilingual manual book, so it is thicker. This is not a JDM version. I don't think Castle released this watch in Japan at all. So buying outside of Japan is the only way to go. Besides, it is cheaper. I had a purchase link down in the description box and you'll be impressed with the price considering what you'll get. I uh, read the specs, but I haven't seen in person to test it out yet. But here it is in carbon fiber printed box. So <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Okay. This is the watch. Let's have a look. Here it is. Oh wow! It is smaller than I expected. Really, I look at photos online. I even watch other channels' YouTube uh, reviews. It looks big though, but yeah, in person it looks it looks smaller than it is. I have my Casio Royale next to it. Look at that. It is bigger for sure, but. I was expecting to see something like a king size G Shock watch, you know. But hey, it is better. So, uh, let's see now, remove the tag. Here it is. As most Casio watch, it works for 10 year, 200 meter water resistance, world time LED. So this is the special thing about the watch. 200 meter water resistant Casio watch. Your reference number is DW-291H-9, CDR3 color variant so far. I watch other channels review for the silver ones. I believe the uh, Casio watch review channel. I can't re really recall remember now. Just YouTube just suggested, you know. And I bought the all black version thinking it's gonna be big. So, you know, all black will make it looks a bit smaller, but it is still pretty big surprisingly. But the gold display looks really, really good. Let me put this out the side. Oh yeah. It is much better. The gold display is much better than the default positive display for this one. I'm not sure about for this one. Oh wow, I'm very impressed so far. And the build quality is much better than the regular Casio watch. Considering the parts are just the same, I'm I'm very impressed for first impression goes. I'm I'm gonna need to read this manual book because I have no idea how this watch works, but I could make a few guesses. This might be the uh, digital Hands, time, day, date. Let's see now. We have world time, alarm, timer, stopwatch, back to home time. Oh, yeah, it seems like it has, yeah, same exact function as the Casio Royale, except it is missing the map and all these indicators and the placement are different. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing works the same way as this, except it has different build structure. Pretty cool. So far, so good, and it is made in China. Size-wise, though, let's uh, measure it real quick. Get it out of the way so I could make a proper view next. I mean, I'll uh, add the uh, size measurement down here from the uh, Casio website. But if you measure it all the way out, it gonna go to 50.2 millimeters, 46.7. If we disregard the extend out button, the thickness will be 14.9, uh, 0.9 millimeters or 14.1. And of course, it feels just a little bit heavier than this one. For a quick wrist check, I'll still gonna include all of this, all of the close-ups in full review video. But just you know, for first impressions, that's how it looks like. Oh wow! Well. When you put it on wrist, it looks big now. Okay, <laughs> I believe this is a lot bigger than the uh, Square G-Shock watch, right? Here we are. Oh yeah, they aren't as kind of like they look kind of the same to me though because yeah the uh, extended out button make it look big but at a glance it looks like it is the same size or maybe it's just me okay so far so good i'm really impressed i bought this around 30 bucks only purchase link down in the description box you could check it out by yourself pick in the color that you like but i would recommend you guys to get this gold version i'm sure it will be better than this default one okay for now that's pretty much it Stay tuned for a full review, all the close-up shots because I haven't took them out yet. I'm sure they're going to be good. Okay, guys, thank you.